Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, quarantine, corona. I know you guys, just as much as me, have been ordering stuff online like crazy. I ordered so much stuff, I was like, I might as well do a haul. I mean, might as well. Like so many cosmetic companies were having sales, so I had to jump on it. So this is gonna be my quarantine haul. All right, let's see what we got. We got some goodies. We got some goodies. So first off, we're gonna start with Sephora. And for those of you guys that don't know, Sephora just finished having their VIB Beauty Insider sale. So you know, I had to re-up on my Laura Mercier. And you know it, you guessed it, medium deep. It's just that skin tone powder that I always repurchase, so it's a necessity. You know, they give you little freebies. This time I got to pick, and I picked the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I just wanted to try it. And I got the Super Sunscreen Daily Moisture SPF 40 by Super Goop. Next, I got my Milk Makeup. Look, I needed to re-up. Really? You really did. Like, I was, I was struggling, it was bad. One of my new additions that was not a re-up, that was like, I just purchased new because I really want to try it, was the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette. It's like a three by three little eyeshadow palette. It comes in these nine shades. And I feel like these shades looked way more brilliant online, but hopefully I can make a look work with these. Also, a new vibe that I got was this SK2 Skin First Experience Kit. And I really only got this because of Jackie Ina. She mentioned that there's a facial essence that she uses and incorporates it into her skincare routine, and I really wanted to try it. So, and I'm super excited that I get to try it. This was super expensive though. Like, this whole kit, because it comes with a facial treatment clear lotion, a facial treatment essence, which is why I really bought it, and a facial treatment mask. You have the option to get the essence by itself in a 25, or sorry, in a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle, or you can get it in like an eight fluid ounce bottle, but the eight bigger fluid ounce bottle was like $200, and I was like, I'm not really willing to spend that point. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna settle for this. It gives me a chance to try it out, test it out, and I'll let you guys know how I like it. I also got this Mario Badescu skin, skin, why can't I say skincare? I also got this Mario Badescu spray in the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This is one of my favorite setting sprays. Really hydrating, melts the makeup. So that's pretty much it for the Sephora haul. So now we're gonna move on to what the girls were crying for, what the girls, or, no, this is this is the wrong box. I like. Hold on. Next we have our Fenty. Stop making noise with the box. So as some of you guys may have heard, Fenty most definitely released some new blushes and some new face products. I did not get the cream bronzers because I watched some reviews and they didn't really look like they were bronzing for real. They just looked like they were cream contours. So I'm gonna watch some more reviews and hopefully they come out with some more shades that are warm and not super cool. But I did have to grab those blushes, or at least some of them, not all. I got the Summertime Wine. They come in this cute little package, isn't that cute? It says cream, so that you don't mix them up with the highlighters. And they're kind of smaller as well. They're smaller than the highlighters, so that could also be a thing. Cute packaging. This is the color, Summertime Wine. I'm gonna swatch it for you. And honestly, these things look like they could be really good like lipstick colors as well. Isn't that pretty? Summertime Wine is described as a soft berry with shimmer. You guys see that? Yeah, me too. What? Okay, some more specs about the blush. It's supposed to be a fresh wash of color with effortless blending, light as air, and sweat resistant. Kind of feels like a lip gloss or a lip balm. The next color I got was Rose Latte. The website describes this color as a soft bronze to me. I really was drawn to this because it looked like the perfect chocolate girl cheek color. So this is Rose Latte. I like it. It does most definitely look like a bronze nude. And I think that'd be cute on my lips. Hmm. Next we have Daiquiri Dip. A lot of people saw this color and they were like, wow, it looks super like 
pigmented and like scary because it's like a red but like a bright red like you remember that marker from the crayola box that was like infrared that's what this bread looks like the website describes it as a soft coral red and i can most definitely see that so i feel like this would look so bomb against a yellow dress in the summer with like a red lip or in the winter and the fall when you start doing like you know your ruby woos and your you know deep reds yo so that is daiquiri dip so next in our quarantine haul we went over to the land of minted cosmetics you guys know how i feel about black women brands and this brand in particular was co-founded by two african-american women and so i went over there and i got some of my faves because they were also having a sale i really wanted to try their foundation so i got the foundation stick in m40 and can i say that the website was actually really helpful in trying to you know figure out what shade i was i did want to go on youtube to like see what it looked like on other people that aren't you know photoshopped and airbrushed and all that stuff and so i landed on the color m40 comes in a tube just like this this looks like it's gonna be my shade like it literally looks like it looks like my skin in a tube do y'all see this wow what if i only just use it to color correct <laughs> this is already out direction thanks meant it um but along with the foundation i had to re-up on one of my favorite brown nude brushes for brown girls that is the color dope taupe i really can appreciate this packaging because it's so sleek and simple look at the lipstick like a little bullet lipstick with minted on it this is so cute so this is dope taupe literally gorgeous you see it gorgeous like just imagine this on my lips right now perfect nude all right so the next lipstick we have is called dark night looks like this it is most definitely a chocolate chocolate like this gives me 90s brown like Mia Long. this is what she wore on love jones most of the time wow wait a minute let me find out what they gave you two no this is so cute so i just realized that in the packaging like when you open it it matches the lipstick color so this was dope tote right it has this like beige under underneath it and this was the dark night it has this dark brown right and then the next lipstick i'm about to swatch for you guys it's called peach please and like it has this cute little peachy like that's so cute wow so you know what it is even if you didn't read the package you can just look at the color <sighs> okay i'm good okay peach please i think this would be a cute spring summertime color you see that and all of these shades were made with brown girls in mind. I got a liquid lipstick in the shade Black or the Berry. And it looks like this, it comes in this tube. Honestly, for me to wear a dark berry lipstick is gonna take a lot because every time I think of dark berry, I think of my mom because that's literally the lipstick that she wears. So I try to stay away from it. But I'm gonna try to get into it, but it just, I don't know. We gonna see. They also gave me this swatch panel of their different foundation shades so that if i wasn't satisfied with the n40 i could find a shade that is more suitable to my skin tone and it comes in these shades like this i can use these as contour shades i can use these as like a super highlight i can use these as a highlight and then i can play around with these shades during you know the months when my skin tone fluctuates next i really wanted to try the glossier brow flick it comes in this little tube and as you can see, like the tip of the pencil is so fine. And I just thought that this would be so perfect for getting those little strokes that look hair-like on your eyebrow. Because sometimes it's super hard to do that with like, you know, any other pencil. But with this, you can use like the tiniest tip to just make those hairs. And I got it in the shade brown. I was going to get it in black, but it didn't sit well with me to just get something that's black to be drawn on my face with. <laughs> So I must definitely use brown and it, it shows up. It shows up. I also got the Glossier Boy Brow in brown as well. Um, I'm not really super impressed with this. I just use it to go over my brows. But this brow flick, I like it. 
Last but not least, we traveled all the way to Ghana for this, guys. Okay, I did not take the trip, but the, the trip was taken. And I was gonna be reviewing this gift set. Whoa. This gift set from Nokari. Now, I first heard about this brand from Dima Ume. She's a YouTuber, super awesome, go check her out. But she raved about their shea butters and their lip balms and of the black soap. So I really, really wanted to try this and I remember her saying that this was a Ghanaian brand and my friend was already in Ghana so I was like, girl, you wanna help me, you know, pick up a little something, something? She got me a whole gift set. But I really wanted to wait and open this with you guys. So I haven't used it. So she gave it to me and it's been, a, it's been some months. So I care about y'all. So right off the bat, con of the packaging, there's a whole bunch of these like wood chips in here. And like I get it for like the aesthetics, but it's like too much. So first up we have the Shea and Baobab oil, black soap, 100% organic and packaged in Ghana. Look at the packaging you guys, isn't this cute? Super, super cute. I'm scared to open it. I'll just insert the picture down here. Oh, and this is where we have the Shea Butter with Aloe Vera Gel. And it's super cute because everything that's written on here is engraved into the wood. So that's super unique. And they have a saying here, Naquare, which is the name of the brand, means truth. Oh, that's cute. Naquare is natural, it's raw, it's you. I like that. Um, store in cool place, keep out of sunlight noted but i can open this because it has a twist top oh, okay okay Goodbye. it looks like it's been through something <laughs> no. but it's shea butter everybody knows what shea butter looks like next we have another black soap the neem oil black soap next we have the 100 percent pure and natural cold pressed shea oil it says for face hair and body and this is what it looks like so I see this little bonnet thing, it's wrapped up like this. This is super cute! And it's satin, like it's silk. Naquare, thank you. And it's not one of those cheap bonnets, like it got some weight to it. It's kinda, it's heavy. They stock me up. And I get to keep the box. Okay, it's like covered in wood chips, but I also got like a cute washcloth. I wish I could, you know. Take off the wood chips, but we really don't have time for that. And yo, they gave me your African sponge. For those of you guys that don't know, can I see this? Basically, an African sponge is a sp is like a regular loofah, but just not in the ball that you Americans that you guys are used to seeing it in. You can wrap it around your hand. Like, come on, come on, come on, man, come on. And when I tell you this is like the best exfoliant you can ask for, because you can just get in there without any qualms, no apologies, no nothing. You can air dry it, you can wash it, it looks like it's machine washable. I got a lot of stuff in this box, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things, including the box. I also got the hydrating lip butter, which is this shea butter chapstick. It's wild berry. It also is wooden, like the rest of the products. This is what it looks like once you open it. Mmm, it smells great. So I hope you guys enjoyed my quarantine haul. And if you tried or got any of these products, let me know how you like them. Let's chat, let's talk. You know it's hard out here for I'm sure you're wondering, why is she looking like that? And why is there no outro to this video? And honestly, I'm gonna be upfront. This was the beginning of a very, very, very terrible ending. But with that, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. You know it's hard.